How's it going everyone? My name is Gingium and welcome back to another episode of Built or Bought. Now today we have the 2012 Ultima GTR 720. Kind of sounds like it should be my mom's Nissan Ultima, but it's not, I swear. Now this car is absolutely insane. It has 720 horsepower, 625 foot-pounds of torque, and it only weighs 2,100 pounds. Let's also not forget that the car only costs 130 grand. So, one, it's one of the lightest cars we've ever faced. Two, it's one of the cheapest cars we've ever faced. Three, it's one of the most powerful cars we've ever faced. Well, actually, no, not really. But this thing is a straight up race car, and it will be very hard to beat for that price. Speaking of money, we are going to be getting one third of the total price of the car to build a car faster than it, meaning we are getting $43,333.33. So we're going to round that up to $45,000. So yeah, we're going to get $45,000 to build a car uh, faster than... Uh, well, this is going to be bad. Let's go ahead and get started by testing this car in the quarter mile and the mile. All right, here we are on the quarter mile with the Altima GTR. This thing is... And it's got a big ass V8. Not the grippiest, but oh my god, it accelerates so quickly. <laughs> Why is it so quick? Oh, it's stock and it runs a 9.4. <laughs> I mean, just look at it. It looks so light and race car, and which is why it accelerates so quickly because it's got it's got so much power and also weighs like nothing. It definitely has trouble getting grip in first and second gear. Uh, I imagine the tires aren't the biggest, but this thing is like, oh, even like going left and right, it's, oh, it's crazy. All right, 9.4, I think that's the best so far. This is also mid-engine, so that should help with the grip a little bit. That was, that was a bad launch. Oh man, even chirps third gear. It is definitely a powerful little beast, 9.49. When you're talking about bang for your buck, this car is like the definition. If we can beat it, that will be crazy. I don't know how we will be able to, but come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Really, our only hope is to try to get a car that's lighter than it, but that's going to be hard, considering it, it only weighs 2,100 pounds. It weighs, it weighs as much as a Miata. Like, what? How is it? I don't know. And then, boom, that was a rocket. But 9.49, that's what we got on our second run, so. Okay. And now we are here for the mile drag race. Let's see what we can do. It will, I'm sure, do quite amazingly. Go. Go. Ugh, it just, it doesn't stop pulling. It's crazy. And I'm trying to take some of your advice and not redline the shit out of these cars. Because that's something that you guys have commented quite a lot. Like, why are you red bombing? Like, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, 22 seconds. 20... 23.6 for a stock car. What? To be fair, this really isn't a production car. I mean, I'm sh I'm pretty, I I don't really know much about these cars, to be honest, but it's not like you see them on the road every day. And it's not like they're built to be daily driven or anything. They're, they're a purpose-built race car, so... It, eh, it, oh, well. We're, we're forgetting that, all right? Oh, my Jesus Christ. 200 miles per hour in fifth gear. Six... Well, all right, crossing the line. Looks like this one's gonna be a little better. Mm, pretty much the same. So that means we have to beat a 9.409 second quarter mile and a 23.6 second mile. All right, so the rules for today's built car are a little bit more lenient. We do not have to start with the same drivetrain. However, the finished product does have to have the same drivetrain. Besides that, it can be in any class. No limits on that. Uh, just obviously has to be in budget. All right, this is a nice little car. It's $12,000. It's light. However, it's not that light. I mean, 2,100 pounds, yeah, it's decent, but I want it as light as possible. As far as I'm concerned, this is one of the lightest cars in the game. 1,800 pounds, that's really light, and it's also $12,000. It is front-wheel drive, so we would have to do a rear-wheel drive swap, but I don't think that's too expensive. It's very tempting. Oh, sweet, this is 1,200 pounds. Uh, oh, it's a million dollars, okay. Ooh, this is nice and light. 
but it's over budget. Ugh, goodness gracious. Well, the Brat is light, and it's all-wheel drive. It's still not as light as the Fiesta. Oh, oh, perfect. Boom, 1,600, no, wait, 16,000 pounds. Yep, mm-hmm. Right there. Wow, it's got a lot of torque. Holy shit. Oh, boys. Yes. This is lighter than that Fiesta by almost 100 pounds. It's also real drive and it's rear engine. We don't have to do any changes. It's a little bit more expensive, but I think this is I think this is the car we're going with. I know it's a little like lame. It's a Beetle. It's an old Beetle, but if anything can do it, it's this car. If this can't do it, it it's literally impossible. Let's do this shit. All right, guys, so after the purchase of that car, we have $29,000 left to spend. I'm gonna immediately go to the engine swaps because this engine only has 40 horsepower. <laughs> I'm really debating between these two. These are both really light. This one makes a lot less power, but it's also like half the price of this one. I think I I'm gonna try it with this one, all right? I'm gonna try it with the two liter inline floor VVT, which is a Honda Civic Type R engine. So we're putting some VTEC into this Beetle. <laughs> yes. And then I will go ahead and throw a turbo on it. Nice and cheap. Cool. So with that, we've got $15,000 left. The first thing I'm gonna do is weight reduction, which gets rid of 200 pounds. <laughs> we only weigh 1,500 pounds, that's crazy. Now after that, there are a couple things we could do. We could upgrade our tires, or we'd upgrade power. I think I'm gonna upgrade power because we need as much as it Wow, we are not, we're not making a lot of power. Oh my goodness, all right, let's just do it. So camshaft, I think I'm gonna upgrade my turbos, which 127 horsepower for five grand, I think that's the best I'm gonna get. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So upgrade the turbos. Now with a little bit of money we have left, uh, 165s are tiny, so I'm gonna put the 265s on there, which is actually only $2,000, so we still have a little bit more spend on power our best bet seems to be a fuel system which gives us 30 horsepower for two two grand it's, it's pretty good and after that we've got one grand left um i mean we're making a decent amount of power torque isn't the greatest uh weight is pretty good um now we got one grand left one grand what do i spend one grand on nope that's too much money nope i think our best bet for the thousand dollars we have left is to do street transmission um, it drops like two tenths of the second off for zero to sixty time, and it's only eight hundred bucks. Now, as always, rims and customization stuff do not count towards our budget. So let's get the lightest ones we can find. Ooh, these actually look really good. Chrome, high spoke. It looks it looks good with the whole theme of the car. It's really light, and they're Volks. So let's do it. Wait a second. Why does it make our acceleration slow? What's all right? I'm just gonna. That's bullshit. So getting rid of the front bumper gets rid of a couple pounds. Removing the rear bumper also gets rid of a couple pounds. No, I don't think we can really do much with the tune. Lower the rear tire pressure, raise the front tire pressure. We can't change the gearing, sadly. It's really, really long, which, ooh, that actually really sucks. I might change some things to get that. Can't change the camber, can't, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we can't do anything. And we're rocking an open diff. Oh boy, okay. Let's test it. We might change some things. In its final form, it is making 526 horsepower. Not bad. 343 foot-pounds of torque, which, uh, that's a little rough. And it weighs 1,500 pounds, which is amazing. So, I, I think this is the, the best it's gonna get. All right, here's a little beetle, a little rust bucket. I think it looks cool like this, but let's have a listen, shall we? That blow up valve sounds like pure, just, oh. I love it. All right, let's do a little pull, 8K. Oh my God, the gearing is so long. But once it gets up there, it actually kind of goes. All right, let's do that again. Oh God, the one tire fire. But literally first gear takes you to 80 miles per hour. I think second gear might, Nope. All right. Finishing the quarter mile in third gear, I don't think that's good. All right. Look at the top right. I'm gonna launch at 115. Bog down there. Shit. Oh my god, and the gearing's so long. Ah. Uh... Oh, that was that was close. That was like a 10.5. 
Um, hmm. All right. I'm going to change the transmission. I obviously have to de-upgrade some things. So first of all, I'll get rid of the sport transmission. Gets me 800 bucks. I need 2000 bucks. I'll go ahead and de-upgrade my race fuel system to street fuel system. But now we can go ahead and put that race transmission on there. Yes. Okay. And then we can tune it and that will be very good. So let's go ahead and make this nice and short. Maybe like 3.8. Oh, that made it zero to 60 time was what? Looks like it doesn't like that. Best zero to 60 time is at like 2.9 and it's actually the same as it was at that stock gearing. So I'm not sure if that actually did anything. God damn. All right, little beetle. One tire fire throughout the entire first gear. I feel like we're a little quicker. Finishing in fourth gear. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it again, 6K. Pretty good launch. Oh, oh God, but it's so weird. After 6K, the VTEC literally kicks in and you go. But um, I don't think we're gonna get much better, so let's just do this shit, am I right? All right, quarter mile in the Beetle. Let's see if 500 horsepower can do it. That was a bad launch, but come on. Uh, chirping second gear and third gear with that one tire fire. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, that was actually really close though. 10.01. I think we can definitely get into the nine seconds. Oh, well, another bad launch from Lay Gingium. Man, second gear chirp is bad. Go, 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 go. Yeah, 10.04. All right, better launch, better launch. So just, uh, it feels so weird, like with the open diff and the long like gears. Yes, nine seconds. Although we're still five tenths of a second off. Better launch, come on. I think that was a little bit of a better launch. I lit the tire up, but we got up there quicker too. Nope, that was bad. Oh god, that was that. Uh, nope. All right, I'm gonna try shifting a little bit earlier this time. I don't think that did anything. I think that launch was just bad. Yep, not well, bad, no, nope, no. Nope. Let's see what happens when I first three them head to head. Maybe one of my subscribers sucks at driving. Nope, they're gone. <laughs> Bye, have a great time. Ah, no. <laughs> No, please. Oh, that was a bad time, actually. Come on. There's three of them. That gives me three times of a chance to win. Well, maybe. No. Three times more of a chance for them to mess up, at least. Oh, God. Kind of bogged down there. Oh, they're so gone in the second gear. It just chirps. So <laughs> oh, that was my worst time yet? There's no hope for the beetle. So close, but yet so far. Oh yeah, lighting those tires up. I mean, like I, I kind of keep up, but they definitely pull. I just, I don't have enough power. It's that's the thing. <sighs> All right, we couldn't beat the GTR on the quarter mile. Let's see what happens on the mile. It's gonna be worse. It was funny. We've had two GTRs in a row: the Ultima GTR and the Nissan GTR. Although the Ultima GTR did much better. <laughs> Uh, I mean, this thing is fast for 45 grand. A nine second quarter mile is crazy. It's just, it's it's still not fast enough. And fourth gear, 190 miles. I don't think that's good. Oh, wow. No, no, no. Tire two seconds slower. Rip. I don't even know why I'm bothering doing the mile of my subscribers, but I mean, I'm gonna lose. Let's see how bad they lose from. Wait, no, ah. Oh! I tried to cut him off. That didn't. No, oh, and I scraped against the wall, losing the only hope of speed I had. <laughs> They're becoming specks in the distance. <laughs> no. <laughs> rip. So much rip. Uh, but hey, honestly, fourth gear goes to like 185. That's pretty dang cool. And I have six gears. Wow, the top seed might actually be decent. All right. D the GTR one. All right, guys. So the first time in a while, the bot cart, but cart. What? The bar. Oh, the bot car. 
the bot car has indeed won. The Ultimo GTR is just an insane, like, race car built vehicle. I mean, it's light, it's got power, and it's got a decent amount of grip. So, it was really hard to beat, and we came close. We definitely did come close, but we were, we were, we were not quite there. If we would have had just a little bit more money, I think we could have done it, but uh, we didn't. So, I mean... The all's fair and the love and what? So yeah guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. Congratulations to the Ultima GTR. As always, you guys can check out my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter in the description below. Say hi. I will probably say hi back. But besides that guys, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time. Peace out. Yes, 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 oh yes, <laughs> all right. I think I figured it out. You have to go in reverse for a little bit, then slam on the brakes and gun it. Yes! Come on, come on. Come on, no!